Good morning, day and night, YouTube. Today, I'm going to be working with Bondo, and I'm going to show you how I put on my props. The prop of choice today is going to be my ODST helmet here. So, as you can see, I already got started. Let me show you how I did it. So, what you're going to need is some Bondo, a pair of scissors, an X Acto knife or box knife. And in my case, I make these nice little uh, tools that I use to help spread the Bondo in these small tight corners, various shapes and sizes, you know, anything you think you're going to need. And I use my skill saw and, you know, you can definitely use scissors or a handsaw. You're going to need a plate, uh, some of these Bondo knives or spreaders, what you want to call them. I bought these today because I was using a putty knife and it wasn't as flexible as this and it dries up real hard and it's hard to get off. So with these knives, it, it's flexible they are. You can see it just like cracks off and you can peel that bondo right off of it. It's really, really helpful. So what I also like to use is um, a piece of plastic. In my case, I got this stuff here, you know, little display boxes that I cut up. And what they have is on their folds, they have these rounded little corners. So it gives me a couple of rounded corners to play around with that work really nicely for, you know, an area that you want rounded or in, if I don't have that, I'll use a uh, popsicle stick. But it's nice to use these while I'm spreading the bond around. So what I'll do is I'll cut these into small little strips. And that's all you really need because anything larger than that, you got your putty knives. And then don't forget your respirator. I'm going to tell you this now. I did this the first time I used Bondo without it. And I spent like the whole night. And then, you know, my lungs were bothering me and everything. It lasted for a couple days before it went away. And there's, there's toxins in Bondo that you don't want to be inhaling. So, when you uh, go to apply your Bondo, you want to use small amounts because this stuff hardens fairly quickly. You get about four or five minutes worth of work time with it. Depending on your temperature, you could get a little bit more. In my case, it's a little cool, so I probably get like another minute, but depending on the kind of cool. In today's case, it's a little warm. So, with your putty, it comes with a hardener. This hardener, you only want like a pea-sized speck per golf ball worth of putty or my case I like to try to use half golf balls and pretend he's cut in half and then I mix that putty or hardener into the putty and what you want to do is mix it until it's a nice salmon pink once it's this nice salmon pink you know you're ready to go so this is the color you're looking for right here so once it's all done what you're looking for is a nice solid color no gray lines or no dark red lines it's all one nice salmon pink color and then you're good to go and then what I do is I take my little putty knives or in this case I'm starting off in a small area so I take my little uh, plastic piece I cut out and I'm going to apply it right to this little earmuff piece I'm going to spread it in there I'm going to try to what I like is um, these little things flex very easy you know they're very soft so they can get right from the corners and everything it's really nice to spread it around with these so what I'm doing is I'm laying it nice in layers. You don't really want to lay this in thick layers unless it's intentional. Like those muffs I'm on right now were half the size they are now. And what I did was I applied large layers of Bondo, about two or three different layers, until I built it out. And then I spent almost two hours sanding that one side down until I got it to the shape I needed. So as you see, I already did the other side and whatnot. So in total, it took me almost a whole day just sanding those pieces down to what I needed without trying to overdo it to lay more Bondo and repeat the process. So once you lay Bondo, you probably got about you know a five minute work window. And then after that four or five minutes, it starts to get rubbery. That's a good opportunity to come in with your exact knife and box knife and really you know, lay up designs and whatnot and try to sharpen up your corners. But after about 20, 30 minutes, it's usually ready to start sanding. You know, that's about the time I've had every time I work with it. You can kind of feel it and it's not as tacky anymore and you know you're good to go. Because honestly, once you lay it, it looks the same. You know, it will look still rubbery after 30 minutes and it doesn't really get that dull color like you see on the right side of my helmet until you start sanding it. So give it some time, you know, feel it after about 15 minutes and if it's already hard and it's not tacky, then you're good to go. So as you can see with the box knife, I'm going through and I'm cleaning up my corners, just making it look nice, you know, I'm trying to get as much of the extra excess as I can off because like I said, it, you know, this, this stuff is amazing. It's, it dries really hard and it's, uh, it gives you an opportunity to really detail your pieces. 
So just go through, clean up your corners, get any excess Vondo you don't want off, you know, anything that you kind of accidentally did or intentionally did. And then, as you can see, it already got hardy. I wasted a lot of it this time through. So, you know, give you an idea of how quick this stuff hardens. I didn't really work on that for more than three to four minutes before I could do it anymore. You can tell you run out of work time once it starts to get really hard to apply and it gets like flaky and whatnot and it just doesn't stay on. But like I said, that's an opportunity to go through with your uh, exact robots and I can really clean out your corners and get rid of excess. So you can see I used a lot this time. This time I used like a half a golf ball and just went to town. You know, applying it the same way I did before, getting the areas that I know I'm going to need it pressed in. You kind of like massage it in with the uh, little putty knife or whatever so you can get in the cracks or anything you want filled. And then just like lay it out. Like I'll use this little piece here to uh, apply everything so that way I know I got everything covered. And then I'll come through with like um, my uh, putty knife and whatnot spread it like this. So like I said, nice thin layers. You don't want anything too thick or else you're going to spend a lot of time sanding it off. But, you know, in this case, it spreads fairly nicely with these knives. Like, you know, I really see a huge difference using this versus a putty knife. So, like you can also see, I've been using my um, my little picks here, and you know, getting to those small tight corners like that little piece there on the bill. You know, see how much I pulled out of there just with that. You know, this makes it a lot easier to work around. You know, get these small little pieces. You, know, you can cut them out to any shape you think you're gonna need. But you know, they're they are definitely a lifesaver. So, now you know how I apply Bondo. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Next time, we'll be talking about sanding, show you how to make some cool little tools and all the other fun stuff. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.